The common name here is rattlesnake uh, plant, rattlesnake root, because this is the root. See how it looks like the tail of a rattlesnake, right? So the plant looks like this here. And um, we are now in the end of spring. It's a good time to be uh, getting them. What I do is I just, um, you dig them out. I have them in my garden because um, I uh, mix, uh, I garden wild edibles. You see, like you could forage wild edibles, but when you, um, if you want to forage so hard, you could garden wild edibles, you see. Um, it's really easy to grow because they don't need anything. They don't need the pampering or um, of anything. And look at this here. So there, you you just dig in here and you just get these roots out. Look at how, this is how the plant does it. You see how long that is? It's, it's actually going outward, you see? It's growing more. And this thing takes over. It, it starts off one plant and then it starts to creep everywhere, the rhizomes in the soil, and then you eat these. They're delicious, they're very crunchy. They don't taste very strong. So you could steam them um, or, and then, um, or stir fry them, steam them a little, parboil them or blanch them a little bit, and um, then stir fry them with some herbs and spices. They um, now um, what I did last year is I fermented them like you would ferment uh, dill pickles, you know. Now instead of putting dill in your uh, in your mason jar when you ferment them, you could put turmeric. It's an Indian spice and it's yellow. Um, we, like I grow turmeric here in the garden, so. Um, and so it's turmeric is very is has a lot of health benefits but it's it, it mixes well with these ferments see the the lactic acid and the turmeric and then the crunchiness they stay these stay very crunchy they're delicious and the, by fermenting them you could keep them for a long time but um, you could just uh, steam them and eat them like you would I don't know like carrots or radishes or something like that now let me show you one that is, um, I saw one when I was taking this, um, if you want to garden these wild edibles, okay, look at this one. You see, once you dig up your plant like this, you'll find some of them, you see this little bud here that's coming out, okay? Now I'm going to keep this one here and anything that I find like that, and once I'm done harvesting, I'm going to, um, rebuild my raised bed here and I'm going to stick this in the ground and leave only this little part up here I'll give them one one good uh, watering just to make sure the soil is well compacted around this here and next year all these things here will have grown by the end of the winter spring will come and there's going to be as much as this here and even more right they're going to grow out like this here see they're going to grow out now you could also, even if you don't have that little thing tip growing, because you know this is how they grow, you try to find something that kind of looks like it's going to come out and then plant those, okay? So you could be growing wild edibles. They actually get bigger in the garden than they would in uh, nature because often the soil in you know in your garden in your raised bed it's a little bit looser there's a little bit more organic content a little bit more nutrition and so they do very well wild edibles do very well a lot of the times like in here and uh, see for example this here is the um, uh, chickweed like chickweed grows everywhere but uh, when I uh, grow it in these raised beds it, they become like big and they just they love it here Okay, so rattlesnake plant, and um, I'll put the uh, Latin name in my uh, on the website. There you go, delicious.